And now, Michael Hickey on behalf of the Irish team. This one is the sticky one. That's the one we want. <laughs> <laughs> now you'll notice that um, there are two bowls on the table and the bowl containing the names of the Irish players has been put in front of the American president and the bowl containing the names of the American team has been put in front of the Irish president. So if the referee would turn his back <laughs> and the two presidents were to give their bowls a little shuffle The referee will now draw the names of the players from the two teams who will meet in the first singles match on Friday. <laughs> Representing the United States in the first match on Friday at six o'clock will be John McEnroe. Representing Ireland, Sean Sorensen. The, the second singles match on Friday, representing the United States, Elliot Telcher. Representing Ireland, Matt Doyle. There really isn't um, any pressure on the Irish team because, I mean, we're, everybody expects uh, Ireland to, to, to lose. The, the most that we can hope for is that the players uh, pre have prepared well, uh, both physically and, and mentally, and that they go out on the court giving of their best. The only fear that I would have as captain is that maybe on the night one or other might freeze, but I, with their experience and record in the last couple of years, I don't see why that should happen. We have to give McEnroe both his singles, I suppose. Would you say, yes. Mm. And the question we have to ask ourselves, John, I suppose, is whether we're going to see the biggest upset of all time. Will Ireland's number one beat John McEnroe? Well, Jim, yes, I think it would be the biggest upset of all time if this was to happen. But uh, I think uh, looking at it realistically, um, I think if Matt could get a set off of uh, John McEnroe this afternoon, I think he would be doing very well indeed. The big problem for Matt will be to try and break the McEnroe serve. He's not lost his serve in this match yet. Uh, hasn't ever been in, under any pressure on it. And that is going to be Matt's big problem, is to try and get the McEnroe serve back and break serve. And I can't see him doing this. If he does it once, he'll be doing well. But what he has to do, I think he's got to serve well. If he can serve as well as he did on uh, Friday night, then he's going to win a good few service games and he can put up a good performance. And the big thing he's got to do is to get the first serve in, not try and do too much with the first volley, play it deep, and uh, take the net position. And if he can hold a good few service games, well, he'll be doing well. So, everybody expectantly waiting now for the start of this vital match. The situation at Davis Cup, of course, is that it's played over the best of five matches, two singles the first day, draw for which is made when everybody's name goes into their respective bowls. One match the second day, us the doubles always, and the third day then is reverse singles. And here we have a section of the 6,000 crowd, 6,000 plus I dare say, who have crammed into the IDS each day. And certainly the organizers can be well pleased with the fact that at times they were worried. And now everything is ready. David Mercer from Swansea, who now lives in London, very experienced tennis umpire and in charge of today's first singles. The situation in the tie is that the United States lead by two matches to one. So this is the match that will either settle it or take us into a final match. I just wonder what Arthur Ashe's thoughts are. Indeed, those two of the Irish man playing captain, Michael Hickey. We'll see how those expressions change as this match develops. And a warm welcome for both players as they come out. And John I can know. To serve for the United States. Having won the toss, no it's up to serve. Pressure, no breeze, no sun, no wind, nothing like that to 
upset a player, no rain. So here we go. Very attentive crowd. John McEnroe to serve. In the first night's match against Sean Sorensen, McEnroe really didn't have to wind himself up into full gear, but last night he served extremely well. And uh, I think it's worthwhile focusing our attention, John, on the point you were making about the ball swinging away from the right-hander. Yes, McEnroe, when he serves, he gets uh, a terrific amount of swing on the ball. And uh, that one will be coming into Matt's body from the forehand side. Forty luck. The ball swings terrifically in here on this carpet surface. And uh, McEnroe's first serve swings a fair bit, but the second one swings even more. Having more slice, a little bit slower, but he curls. Yeah. Normal pattern of service to the second one to the backhand corner. We'll see if he does this. Usually swings it wide. That time he went down the 40, middle. 15. Didn't swing it enough. Well. A little bit of partisanship there in the applause of the audience, clapping a double fault. And that's as cheap a point, I guess, as you can get. But however, that Doyle's his first point on the board, 40-50. Game to the United States, first game. So a very nervous start, I think, from Matt Doyle there. It wasn't a great start from either player, be it said. But nothing to be said between team captain and player at this point. However used they are to the atmosphere of the place, court at this stage. Still, once you get out on court, and actually have to start playing. The first couple of minutes are always a very anxious time. Yes, it's uh, very nervy stuff out there at the moment. And I suppose, really, if uh, Matt was going to have a chance of breaking the McEnroe serve, then the first game was probably one of the best before the player really gets warmed up and gets his eye in. Always the first service game is the shaky one, you're a bit stiff and a bit tentative. As McEnroe showed at that fourth point when he did the double. Now it'll be Matt to get over his nerves. He's got to try and get this first serve in, uh, as he did on Friday night, and really he served so well. So, Matt Doyle to serve for Ireland. <coughs> Here we go. Love one. First set. 15. Do to start. Game 
Jim Cadoro. That would do very nicely, thank you. Good start, Matt Boy. Game to Ireland, one game all. Have a look at the McEnroe serve now. He's changed his serve just a little bit since Wimbledon when he had a little bit of problem with the football judges. And he used to stand with that right foot almost touching the baseline. And as he leant forward, the right foot would just touch the line. So he's now staying back. You see about an inch from the line. And that seems to have cured the footballs. Love 50. Oh, an understandable buzz around the court. This is only McEnroe's second service game. And he served two double faults. Very pensive McEnroe. He hops the ball there. He's been a bit unhappy about uh, the ball, I think. He feels that they weren't spherical enough. shot. Love 30. The temptation for anybody playing McEnroe must be to be tentative. That was a very positive, straightforward drive down the line from Matt Doyle. Love 30. Good chance. I'm sure Matt Doyle is wondering if the net's the right height. Yes, he was a little bit unlucky there. He had a go. He played the right shot. Could have so easily been a winner. So, 30 all. <laughs> the third one. The return of Sal was the one that did it. And it's a great point. Thirty forty. Just out. Good serve. Deuce. A very good serve there from John McEnroe. Swing right away, right away there from uh, Matt Dahl's backhand side. Matt did very well to reach it. as good a chance as Matt Doyle will have early in the match. Break point once more. A service game from John McEnroe with two double faults in it. Now let's see. Deuce. 
Because the ability of the great player, as McEnroe has shown us many times, is that he can produce the big serve when needed. Oh, my goodness me. Brave effort, Matt. Advantage the United States. Game to the United States. The United States lead by two games to one. That's the situation. And they've been on court just a little over 13 minutes. Well, you think these two chaps weren't talking, but when they're kind of sitting there, cursory word from Arthur Ashe. It must be almost impossible to do a captaincy job on John McEnroe. I mean, what do you say to the best player in the world? Very little, I think, Jim, really. And uh, John McEnroe's going to play his own game anyway. Mm. But uh, interesting uh, that uh, John McEnroe every now and again has a problem with the serve. I think what happens is that the toss uh, goes wrong, and uh, he has a little bit of a problem hitting the wall at the full height. There's Matt Doyle. A little bit unlucky, I think, to have lost that uh, last game. The two double faults from John McEnroe, he had a chance of two passing shots. He hit both shots very well and just hit the top of the net. On both occasions, I think McEnroe would have been very hard pressed to have reached the ball. Quite so, here's the man who effectively has brought Ireland to the situation where we have the United States in Ireland for this Davis Cup tie. Fifteen, love. Have a look at the, the Doyle serve. It really is a, a lovely service action. Very suited, of course, to indoors. Well played. McEnroe really tested the six foot four inch Californian there. Thirty, love. And that has a very slow build up to the serve. Very deliberate with the toss. Gets it well out of the side, uses a fairly heavy slice, runs the ball away, throws the ball rather high, which inside doesn't matter. And the first foot fault of the entire match. There's the offending left foot. Oh dear. Yes, always like to happen 15. when a player is concentrating and suddenly accept the service action. So, an ace and his first double in this service game. It was in. Thirty all. A lovely blocked return from John McEnroe. No backswing at all. Very strong wrists coming over the top of the ball. 40, 30. Good serve. returns to get in, in tennis, indeed, but one of the most difficult is that very low dipping shot over the net.
Oh, my goodness, me. So well disguised that Matt was beaten and the ball passed him no more than a foot away from him. Advantage the United States. McEnroe does that so well on both wings. Break point. Again, the crowd cheering before the rally was over, forgetting about the speed of McEnroe, almost made it. Well played, not all. Marvellous point. Deuce. Advantage the United States. Well, not a good point to serve your second double fault. <sighs> Just critical serve this. Let's see where McEnroe right now and see where he, whether he moves in or not. I saw the ball on the line. I, I thought the ball was on the line. David Mercer said he saw the ball good. Yes. Point given. I just wonder how the other members of the team and all the family members who are sitting behind the umpire's uh, chair will react to all of this. All very anxious people. Actually getting his racket to the ball and almost getting it back. Advantage, Ireland. I heard what he said, I'll announce the show away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, could I ask you to remain silent until the rally is completed? Thank yes, you very much. I think it's a reasonable point of David Mercer's, but uh, the crowd actually thought that the rally was over. Deuce. Long critical game this. This is the fourth time we've been at Deuce. Well played. That was very well struck and good. Advantage, Ireland. And Matt really controlled that volley beautifully. Dip low, he angled it cross court. Controlling the volley with a nice bit of backspin. Yes, indeed, the crowd had no doubt about that one. The rally was over from the time the ball left the door racket. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Well played, Matt Doyle. Two all. <laughs> Two games all. Fifteen love. It's his first ace of the match. Mm. 
Yes. And the man scratching his right shoulder. And the lady to his right, uh, the McEnroe parents. In front of them, Steve Denton. And the youngest son, by the way, Patrick, is in the fair hair to Steve Denton's right. Ace number two. Thirty fifty. Well, they were looking look, looking for some residents actually who live up in the rafters. Two two pigeons. As long as they don't try to take part, I guess we'll be all right. Long. Well played, my boy. What a beautiful lob. The return south put the American under pressure and the lob was perfection. Yeah, superb lob from Mac. Played the heavy top spin. Over the McEnroe backhand side. In fact, John McEnroe did very well to reach it. But, uh, Mac will want to play that shot a few times because McEnroe does come in very tight on the net. If he doesn't make the lob, he's still just keeping McEnroe back just that bit. I think we've commented over the years, John, at Wimbledon, about the strength of the back and roll wrist. It's quite extraordinary the way he can control the ball, especially the speed and pace that he can get on it and take the pace off it when he needs to. Yes, that uh, last drive from uh, Matt Doyle was very firm. John right on top of the net and using a very strong wrist blocked it away. Game the United States. Oh, another rather eventful game. United States lead by three games to two. Game that saw John McEnroe hit his first two aces. And here he is now, 24 years of age. He is reputed to earn three million dollars a year playing tennis. And that uh, is only from playing tennis exhibitions tournament play and even at that he wasn't the highest money earner on the circuit last year from tournament play that went to Ivan Lendl he was saying during the week you know, when we talked to him that uh, his proudest moment really was beating Borg at Wimbledon but I think this year when he held that cup on high John it was a moment and I think he felt that he had at last arrived and have been accepted as the really great tennis player that he is. Yes, I think, uh, Jim, that he's now established himself, particularly on the uh, on the faster surfaces, as uh, supreme. Uh, obviously, when he plays in Roland Garros on the very slow surface, he has his problems. People like Rolanda and Villas would worry him, but on the fast surface, I think he's really now out on his own. So it's 2-3. First set. That's ready. John isn't. Just a touch in this match, which hasn't been in this tie so far. A little bit of gamesmanship from John McEnroe. He is taking his time. He is slightly querulous about things. And using all the facilities available. Oops. Well, unfortunately, it's not the first time that's happened in this tie. There are a couple of dead points in this court. And a question from John McEnroe as to whether the court is right. Thirty-six. 
30, love. Oh, there's no doubt that Sir Farrell is match, but Doyle is serving as well as he did in his match against Elliot Tilcher. swinging serve there into McEnroe's body. John McEnroe not quite able to control the return. Next. Second service. six inches before he hits it, but of course inside, no big problem for him. Game to Ireland, three games all. Well, Matt was in a little bit of difficulty in his last service game. He had four deuces before he finally leveled it to all. And that's it. followed then with this one, which was a game to love. That's as good as you can do. So it's three all, first set. Fault. The linesman is his hands down. The umpire has overruled him as he's entitled to do. The ball called long Arthur Ashe on his feet. Is that clear a mistake that you could overrule? Uh, why did he call it in? But I saw the ball quite clearly. David Mercer quite firm. He saw the ball long. 